What was the craziest TikTok trend this year? The app is known for its ever-changing challenges and constant unpredictability, so much so that it can be hard to keep up with. In 2022, TikTok grew from a platform that was ruled by dance routines to a place that dictates celebrity gossip, the music we listen to, and the clothes we wear. Whether it's dance challenges, crazy food trends, or memes, TikTok is a wildly entertaining place that manages to always keep you watching. There's been so many outlandish trends that have come and gone this year, so we've decided to include some of the most popular ones on this list. So let's take a look at the top 10 strangest TikTok trends that went viral in 2022. Number 10, Bing Chilling. This hilarious trend has taken over social media and it's all thanks to John Cena. He's gone and made himself the face of meme culture once again. In the viral video, the actor and professional wrestler speaks Mandarin poorly while holding an ice cream. He recorded himself sitting in a car holding the frozen treat in his hand while promoting the film Fast and Furious 9. In the clip, Cena speaks and sings into the ice cream cone as if it were a microphone. Know Your Meme translated the Mandarin subtitles and discovered exactly what he's saying. It roughly means something like, Good morning China, now I have ice cream. I like ice cream very much, but Fast and Furious 9 is better than ice cream. The video was posted on Cena Weibo last year, but it really gained popularity on TikTok this year. If you didn't know, Cena Weibo is China's version of Instagram or Twitter, with over 300 million monthly active users. Pretty quickly, it achieved meme status mostly for its absurdity and the goofy pronunciation of Bing Chilling. A user by the name of Sneaky Binders posted the original clip on TikTok, which now has over 25.5 million views and more than 2 million likes. It wasn't long before many users made a trend out of it, where they would offer their friend ice cream while speaking English, only to get rejected. Then when they ask again, they use Cena's Bing Chilling script and their friend becomes so mesmerized and takes a big bite. Number 9 the napkin challenge. This TikTok trend has taken people asking for napkins to a whole new level. The hashtag napkin challenge has over 231 million views on the app and the videos typically all follow the same style, starting with the person behind the camera revealing a stain or a mess on their hands and then asking a friend for a napkin. That friend then rips the shirt off a third person's back to serve as the napkin. They then hand the ripped fabric back to the camera person. Basically, all it takes to participate in this trend is a t-shirt that you don't mind ripping and some friends. Although to be fair, it does seem like there is some level of pain involved, especially if the shirt doesn't rip easily and you end up getting dragged across the room. Videos of the challenge started popping up as early as June, but they hit their viral stride in July. Creators have taken the challenge to all locations with all kinds of messes and materials, from ripping scrubs off people's backs to slapping mayonnaise on their face. It's no wonder the challenge has been sweeping the app over the last few months with creative and chaotic takes on the trend everywhere. It is a lot of silly fun and the fact that we can hear the laughter from people in the videos adds to the comedic value of it all. One that was posted by Marcus Gonzalez shows someone getting the entire back of their shirt ripped off just because his friend needed to wipe his hands. Number 8 Butterboards The new food trend that's been clogging up everyone's TikTok feed this year is exactly what it sounds like. It's essentially a spin-off of a charcuterie board but instead you take your board, smear it with butter thickly and sprinkle or drizzle a few of your favorite things all over it to make it look pretty, like different sauces, spices, fruits, and other stuff on top of said globs of butter. We've seen one sprinkled with lemon zest, fresh herbs, nuts, spices, edible flowers, and even freeze-dried fruit. People are then using pieces of bread or bread-like products to scoop up these concoctions off the boards and put them into their mouths. It's supposed to be a new kind of dip that's perfect at a communal event or special occasion, and it is meant for sharing. Before you try this one yourself though, this trend has been criticized for its potential health hazards. First of all, room temperature butter will almost certainly fall into the cracks of the wooden board, and so it will provide good conditions for nasty microbes to grow. It would quite literally be a breeding ground for bacteria. Then of course, you'll probably feel sick after eating scoops and scoops of butter like it was ice cream. That's why you don't normally see sticks of it on a charcuterie board. Most people are just not able to stomach that much butter. Number 7, Picasso Trend. This trend originates from a comical TikTok showing a chance encounter which led to a hilarious exchange between two strangers. A creator who goes by the name of It's Reefa was going for a stroll walking down a sidewalk when he passes a person dressed in an outrageous costume, wearing a giant red wig with an unusual dress in the middle of the street, who appears to be covering a car in tin foil. Equally curious and alarmed, he asks, what's this? To which the person in costume responds dryly, saying, 
it's an art project. Immediately the creator says, okay, I like it, Picasso, but it's his cute accent and immediate acceptance of the artist's shenanigans that make the video equally entertaining and endearing to watch. The video has been viewed around 37 million times. People jumped on the trend and started using the audio to highlight their own Picasso-worthy moments. Most of the videos are pretty sarcastic and they seem to poke fun at something funny that someone has witnessed. Dance teacher Matizel used the sound to explain how she feels about her four-year-old student promising but not so great art skills. Another creator by the name of Maddie Bockets made her own version that says when your boyfriend posts a bad photo of you on his story but at least he posted you. And a user called Brianie Holman attempted to cut her own bangs at home but when she visits the salon to fix them her stylist doesn't judge and instead just says I like it Picasso. Number 6 Pretty Wake Up. Back in June TikTok's collective love of Stranger Things season 4 produced a meme called the Chrissy Wake Up Remix. The the song is created by the Gregory Brothers, who have an account called Shmoyaho. They wanted to make a funny alarm sound out of a very grim scene from the first volume of season 4. The song samples the character of Eddie Munson and the scene where he yells at Chrissy Cunningham to wake up from Vecna's trance. He tries to snap her out of it by shaking her and yelling, Chrissy wake up, but sadly it does not work. The Gregory Brothers then posted the remix to TikTok and made the caption, made an alarm for all the Chrissies and Chrisses, where they duet a version of the scene while playing the piano to it. The clip has more than 16 million views and the audio has been used in thousands of TikToks. Just in the three weeks that it was posted to TikTok, the audio was used over 38,000 times, often as a background song to videos. On June the 25th, the musicians uploaded a longer version of the song to YouTube, which has almost 10 million views. Even Joseph Quinn knows about the Chrissy wake up trend and he said it's actually pretty, pretty funny. He also said that he thinks it's so stupid, but he's glad that they did it. The song somehow fits into the Eddie Munson cult on TikTok, as the character has swept entire platforms with fan edits, cosplayers, and eventually it became a bit of a running joke. Number 5 Negroni Spagliato House of the Dragon stars Emma Darcy and Olivia Cook went viral on TikTok this year, not just for their actions but for pronouncing a certain name of a cocktail. As a result, Emma's favourite drink, a Negroni Spagliato with Prosecco, has been trending all over the internet. Earlier in October, the actors were featured in a TikTok Talk where they talked about their favorite drinks. When Olivia asked Emma what their drink of choice was, they said that their favorite was a Negroni Spagliato with Prosecco in it. In response, Olivia looks impressed and simply says, stunning. Much like ASMR, the truly smooth way that they say it makes the internet collectively swoon. Many users took to the comment section to remark on how seven simple words have seemingly ignited a fury of crushes. In less than two weeks, the video has gone from a niche queer joke to a mainstream trend, spawning a platform crossing wave of recipes and dozens of memes worrying about unprepared bartenders. But apparently the drink itself has a relatively easy recipe, so any cocktail bar should be able to make it for you. In Italian, the phrase spagliato roughly translates to mistake, which references the urban legend behind the drink's origins. Apparently, a Milan establishment called Barbosso created the cocktail after a bartender mistakenly added Prosecco instead of gin to a patron's drink. Number 4. The Corn Song You know, TikTok often produces viral trends with unknown and songs and weird combinations with videos. That's exactly what happened with the corn song. In the original video, you can see a sweet little boy named Tarek talk about how much he loves corn in an interview. He expressed all his enthusiasm for corn and the words were so melodic that it became relatively easy for someone to make it into a viral song. It wasn't long before the internet's favorite songwriters, the Gregory Brothers, were inspired by the video. They remixed the interview, adding piano keys into the background until the adorable song comes together. The video has been liked more than 10 million times so far. If you don't recognize the artist, you'll definitely recognize a lot of their work. Their songified news stories and viral videos were the soundtrack to the 2010s. Something about the happiness of the kid and the nostalgia of the autotune resonated with the masses. It didn't take long for other creators to hop on the corn trend, showing off their favorite things or skills to the corn theme backdrop. People started using it to describe the things that they love in life the most, including working from home, driving convertibles, eating pizza, sleeping in late and taking trips to Starbucks. One TikToker named Erica Rifkin posted a funny video on her page about how the corn song was preventing her from focusing on work and getting her tasks done. Instead of reading her textbook laid out in front of her, she grabs her bottle of soda to use it as a microphone and starts lip syncing the lyrics. Number 3 The Wednesday Dance The character best known for her spooky personality and gothic appearance has received renewed interest this year after Netflix released their new take on The Addams Family. In 
in it, we see Janet Ortega, who plays the main character Wednesday, as she sets the dance floor on fire with her moves when she attends Nevermore's rave and dance. Jenna really puts a fresh Gen Z stamp on the character, even though dancing might not be what you would expect from such a gloomy teenage girl. But the tradition actually dates back to 1994, when Lisa Loring's iteration of Wednesday taught Lurch how to dance in the original TV series. That's most likely where she got her inspiration from, and fans fell in love with it. That famous dance sequence has proved popular amongst fans and has been dominating TikTok in recent weeks. Wednesday dances to the Cramps' 1981 song called Goo Goo Muck, but it wasn't long before fans edited the footage of the show to depict her dancing to a sped up version of Bloody Mary from Lady Gaga's 2011 album Born This Way. As a result of the trend, the song is having its moment and has received a boost in streams, amassing over 429,000 listeners in one day, which became its biggest streaming day of all time. Even Lady Gaga herself shared her love for the character, tweeting, Play Wednesday, you're welcome at House of Gaga anytime, and bring Thing with you, we love pause around here. Number 2, Goncharov. The 1973 Martin Scorsese film has been trending on TikTok for one hilarious reason, because it's a complete fabrication of the internet. It started off as an inside joke on Tumblr, but now everyone agrees that it's one of Scorsese's lost masterpieces of mafia cinema, and it has even won several awards. The movie starts Robert De Niro in his lead role as a Russian hitman and former discotheque owner, along with Al Pacino, Gene Hackman, Sybil Shepard, and Harvey Keitel in an eye patch for some reason. It all takes place in Naples, Italy, and it has everything. Murder, a love triangle, homoerotic undertones, a striking original score, and a dramatic final scene that film buffs have been debating about for years. The trend started several years ago when a Tumblr user posted a photo of a pair of knockoff boots that they ordered online, which came with a strange tag that said, the greatest mafia movie ever made, Martin Scorsese presents Goncharov. The image was then reblogged with the caption, this idiot hasn't seen Goncharov, and that set off one of the biggest chain reactions the platform has ever seen. By the time the trend made its way to TikTok, there was already a huge fandom for the film, which has an ever-expanding cast, multiple plot lines that many people can agree on, gifs, fan art, and even pseudo-essays from invented academics, which have been published in Unreal Journals. TikTok users were dressing up as their favorite characters from the movie and making fun of anyone who's claimed that they've never seen it. There is now an entire universe created to support the idea that Goncharov is real. And coming in at number one, leak your photos trend. While the thought of your personal photos being shared is almost never a source of comfort, this trend takes a tongue-in-cheek approach to the idea of someone threatening to do just that by highlighting how mundane and boring most of our photos would really be. The trend uses the song Sirtaki, which is originally by Mickey Theodorakis for the 1964 film Zorba the Greek, and with the help of the trend, it's racked up over 240,000 videos and counting. The first instance of this trend seems to be from a video posted by DJ Steve Aoki with the caption, Hacker, send me a million dollars or I'll leak your iCloud photos. And in response, he leaks his own photos and shows off the ridiculousness of his camera roll. It's a hilarious idea that while a hacker thinks they'll find some salacious pictures to blackmail him with, everything they come across is either completely completely absurd or wholesome. As a trend has grown in popularity, the format for it has grown more flexible. It started off with only money-focused threats like, give me X amount of dollars or I'll leak your photos. But now we've seen other versions come through like leaked text messages, baby photos, crying photos, or photos of attractive K-pop idols. The possibilities with this are virtually limitless, and some creators are even making multiple videos, especially the ones with camera rolls filled with their cute cats. The video is not only a great way to make fun of what's really on your phone, but it's also super easy to replicate. So which trend on the list will you be trying before the year's out? Let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next video.